Women of Reddit, what do you wish self-proclaimed nice guys would understand? If you are only acting nice to get laid, that doesn't actually make you a nice person. Romantic comedies are nothing like real life, and using the tactics shown in them will only creep the object of your affections out, not win them over. Being nice is the bare minimum. You should be nice to everyone, not just pretty girls and you should do it because it's the right thing to do, not because you think it'll get you laid. You have to bring more to the table than just being nice. Actual nice guys don't have to tell a woman they are a nice guy. My husband is a kind-hearted man. A great man. He never once told me he was a good guy or a nice guy. He showed me. So, if you have to tell someone you are nice or good chances are you probably aren't. Proclaiming yourself a nice guy is a problem. People who are genuinely considerate and decent don't have to declare themselves honest and nice. People know them to be so by their behavior. Behaving nice specifically as a means to impress women as a means to an end is not genuinely being nice. Not a woman. But I lost my best friend over some nice guy BS like this. My so and I had gotten in a fight and he felt the need to console her and let her vent to him. About a week went by and he began asking if she'd like to meet and talk over drinks etc. At this point the fight was over and we were back to normal. She showed me a message saying I didn't deserve her and that he could treat her better. She deserves someone nicer. Ended up getting in a fight with him and haven't spoken in 3 years. She's still with me and we are getting married next month. The friend zone is made up. Girls lean on it a lot when they don't want to tell a guy that they're unattractive. If a girl says that she doesn't see you in that way what she means is that she values your friendship but that she doesn't want to duck you. End of story. It's not like you got yourself into this situation by being nice or by trying to be her friend. If you hadn't been nice she still wouldn't want to duck you. To reiterate, she is not attracted to you. If you want to be friends, be friends. If you're here to duck, don't pretend otherwise. P.S. Moping and crying about the friend zone isn't winning you any points either. Reciprocated love sucks. We get it. Move on. If I'm not attracted to you, you will only ever be a friend. That just because you're nice to me. It doesn't mean I owe you anything in return. Please understand that we do like nice guys. The fact that you are a nice guy, or so you think, is not the reason someone isn't attracted to you. It immediately makes you immature. It's the equivalent of saying I'm not like other girls. Sure maybe you are aren't but proclaiming it does nothing for proving it. 1. Sometimes, whilst grateful for the nice thing you did, it's too much. For example, at a place I once worked, some guy asked my supervisor if he could have a little extra help on a project he was working on and could I, the temp at the time, go and help him. When I got to him, he had actually used it as a chance to hand me a rose. So yeah, it was meant to be sweet, but it was completely unprofessional, especially as I was trying to get a permanent job. I also had to then reject him, and he turned hostile towards me. Two. If you're only nice to me, especially as a way to get with me, then no, you're not nice. If I see you being nice to other people then I'm much more likely to see you as a potential suitor. Guy here. I'm a reformed nice guy. Being a nice guy is a frustrating, painful experience for many men, and interacting with a nice guy is a trying, confusing experience for many women. And the better everyone understands what is going on the happier everyone will be. What women want, and what everyone wants, is a responsive partner. When she wants flowers, that's when it's a good idea to buy her flowers. When she wants a hug, that's when it's a good idea to give her a hug. When she wants to talk about her problems, that's when it's a good idea to sit and listen. Until she wants you to do these things, she's going to be creeped out if you do them. She's going to think why is he buying me flowers? I didn't want flowers. Now he's going to ask me out on a date. I'm not attracted to him. And he's going to get mad when I say no because he got rejected. Which always sucks. He's out $50 for flowers. Bummer. And he's going to feel stupid for wasting his time and effort. I didn't even do anything. And now I have to deal with an angry man who has a 0.5% chance of getting violent with me or becoming a stalker. This is so stressful. 
Even if you're a genuinely nice person who would never take out your anger on a person who rejected you. She doesn't know that. To add to the points people have already made. One of the reasons why a woman isn't comfortable coming out and saying. I don't want to date you because I am not attracted to you and has to use other. Softer reasons. I'm busy. I'm just out with my girls tonight. Etc. Is because of a genuine fear that things could go south during the conversation and a guy who seemed nice at first could get violent or start stalking her. Not that that extreme scenario would happen with every guy she rejects. But it only needs to happen once for it to affect her life. One thing most women experience, frequently, this is not rare at all, is an exchange like this. S online. Hey. Beautiful. Oh. Hi. Hey. Wanna go out sometime? Sorry. I have a boyfriend now. You think you're better than me. You stupid itch. You're not that hot anyway. I'm not gonna bang a 4 like you when I'm scoring 8s and 9s practically in my sleep. Have fun being a cunt. We have learned to soften the blow and are afraid of being too direct because that violent outburst would be 3000x worse in person than online. These conversations usually start off reasonably nice. And you never know who the violent guy is going to be. They blend in with other guys. Agent in the Matrix style. So we have to be cautious. Women are not vending machines that you can drop kindness coins into until 6 falls out. Womanity is not withholding 6 from you and waiting for you to say and do the exact right combination of things to unlock the 6 gate. Your desperation is repulsive. Women want 6. 2. But don't want to risk pregnancy. Herpes. Or your clingy drama for her it lay. She has interests to protect. 2. And you are mostly antithetical to them. Stop being that. Stop protecting us from Zix. We're human. 2. And independent agents quite capable of deciding when we'd like to duck and get ducked. If you see us slipping off with a bad boy it's because we're down to duck. Not because our pretty little heads have been manipulated or mislead. And if you frame us as children in need of your white knighting. You've no business pursuing a romantic relationship with us anyway. Yapovs. Newsflash. 6 is awesome. Get on board or GTFO. If you want to ask a girl out, ask her out. Don't become her friend and cultivate that friendship for months merely as a tactic to get her to go out with you. First of all, it doesn't usually work. Because if we hang out for a long time and you never give me any indication that you like me as more than a friend. I'll just assume that you don't. Second, it's really hurtful to learn that the person you thought was your new friend is really just interested in sleeping with you. This has happened to me a few times, and when it does, sometimes the guy tries to blame me for leading him on. How was I supposed to know you were interested in me if you didn't say anything? Sex is not a right, it is a privilege, and most of all, it is a choice. You do not get to decide for me. You do not have a right to me. I don't owe you a chance any more than you owe some annoying girl you aren't attracted to a chance. You aren't nice. You are making me uncomfortable when you don't back off. And me calling you on your itty behavior doesn't make me the one at fault. If you were really my friend, you wouldn't make our relationship about your own desire for sex and intimacy from me. I didn't friend zone you. You sex zoned me. And you're a really itty friend if you never even wanted to be friends in the first place. If you pretend to be my friend, then turn on me when I don't want to duck you. You are the one WHO was manipulating me, not the other way around. Desperation is the opposite of sexy, and it very often smells like excessive solicitousness. Reasonably attractive girls are as turned off by a stage 4 clinger as reasonably attractive guys are. You see generosity when you send her a gift you can't really afford. She sees a pressure play and starts worrying about the strings attached. You see friendly interest when you ask her all about her life and take notes. She sees prying and starts worrying that she can't leave her phone unlocked around you. You see TLC when you want to spend lots of time with her doing all the things she likes. She sees a social vampire of guy who doesn't have anything worthwhile of his own going on and starts worrying that you expect her to be rich and me. You see old fashioned chivalry when you freak out about her opening her own door or offering to split the check or dealing with a creep without male support. She sees a guy who's so insecure he can't stand the thought of a woman autonomously dealing with real adult life. 
and starts worrying about the embarrassing scene you're going to cause when an ex-boyfriend drunk dials her. 1. Being nice is usually the minimum requirement for a partner. For anyone, men or women, straight or not, who wants a good, fulfilling relationship. Don't think you are clearing a high bar just but not being a total asshole. What else have you got to bring to the table? Work on that. 2. Don't think women don't like to go out with nice guys. Almost every woman who is a good loving relationship would describe her partner as someone who is a good, kind, and decent person. So get that out of your head. Only messed up people you wouldn't want to be with anyway are into going out with jerks or alphas or whatever you want to call them. 3. Crushes are often fleeting so if you are befriending a woman to to feel her out for dating, make your move quickly, there is a good chance she has a little crush on you. 2. In the beginning. But if you don't make a move and ask her out, she'll just assume you want to be friends and she will move on to her next crush. That is, crushes that don't become unhealthy infatuations or obsessions. 4. Don't get caught up with women who want to vent about their jerk boyfriends. More often than not this just becomes toxic triangle where she has one guy for sex and romance and one guy for companionship. And nobody is happy. Also, see above comment on crazy people you wouldn't want to be with anyway. Nice guys in a nutshell. When you're legitimately just being a kind person and when you're actually a lesbian and not interested in men. That if you are not attracting the kind of people you're attracted to, then maybe you are the one who has to change. If you are a nice guy and she doesn't want to go out with you, it doesn't mean she wants an abusive asshole for a boyfriend. She just doesn't want you for a boyfriend. I can't count how many times nice guys have lamented that they can't get a date because they're too nice and girls only want guys that are decent. Usually followed up by offhand comments about how they should start being a shat so they'd have better luck. We're human. And we get horny and posses an innate desire to duck and get ducked. 2. Stop protecting us from ourselves. We're independent agents and not children. And if you frame us as children in need of protection, you have no business pursuing a romantic entanglement with us. If you've ever been ditched in favor of a bad boy it's because we wanted to duck without judgment and shame. Which is a typical, healthy desire for men and women above the age of 12 or so. Not a female. Quoting from an unknown source. Okay, you're nice. What everyone should be. The bare minimum of being a decent person. What else? Are you interesting? Funny? Clever? Charming? Talented? Because the guy over there is nice. Also goes to the gym. Volunteers. Has a band with his buddies and is applying to law school. He also doesn't put me on a pedestal for having a V. He challenges me to improve and be a better person. He doesn't give me everything I want. He supports me as I work towards my goals on my own. So what the hell else are you offering? Being nice doesn't get you any points. Your score is zero. Loser. I'm a guy but one thing I hate is that self-proclaimed nice guys are often unattractive yet they go for really hot girls and wonder why they don't do well. There's nothing wrong with being unattractive. But they always go for really hot girls and never consider dating people equally attractive as them. And the reality is that hot people often date other hot people and average people often date other average people. It's just kind of how it is. If you're attractive why not try dating someone who's also attractive? Obviously there are exceptions but I find this is generally what happens. So I don't get it when those nice guys are like why is she with him? Why not me? It's like dude, there's tons of women who would date you but you have such high standards and you're also a douche. Nice is the absolute bare minimum you have to be. 